Hi, today my parakeet, Mr. Kooks, and I are going to show you a special color mixing method called gamut mapping. This is where you take the complete color wheel and take a small section of it to mix a limited color scheme. We can do this with a painting like this. This is a plein air painting I did in Las Vegas. And it's a good one to start with because it's got bright reds, bright yellows, and bright blues. We're going to take that and shift it in uh, two different directions, toward the warm and toward the cool. But that's not the only way to limit a palette. You can limit it by pigments. Here, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, pyrrole red, and white. Those four colors map onto the color wheel like this. I've marked the points of those pigments. And the range of possible mixtures from those colors plus white would all appear within this shape on the color wheel. We're leaving out yellows and greens and cyan because you can't mix them from those colors. This is called the color gamut. It's the full range of colors possible from those three starting colors. And here's a painting done with that limited color gamut. You can also limit a gamut another way by taking the full color wheel, yellow, magenta, cyan, with gray in the center, and then overlaying that with a color gamut mask. A weak green, a weak red magenta, and a strong yellow with warm in the center. Now we use tube colors to start with because we need to mix tube colors into the limited colors uh, that appear in the corner of that gamut shape. So the yellow is full strength and we can mix that with strong cadmium yellows uh, and then some darker yellows, yellow ochres, trying to keep it as intense as possible. The color in the lower right is a weak red violet. We mix that in a few different values. And then in the lower left, it's a kind of a low chroma blue-green or green cyan. Now those three colors in three different values will become the starting colors for doing the entire painting and we won't use tube colors at all. Let's start by mixing up a warm color called an imprimatura to scrub across the entire picture as a starting tone. Now the reds are a fairly dull red violet and uh, we know that this will be a fairly bright red in the context of the picture. The blue is a good deal grayer than it appears in the original painting, but the whole gamut is warmed up. But now what happens if we take that triangular gamut and turn it around so that it's shifted to the cool side of the spectrum? We still have that red-violet and that green-cyan, but now a strong blue is the other accent color. The gray is the strongest yellow that we have. So let's remove the color mixtures that we just did for the warm gamut. This palette paper is really freezer paper that I use as a mixing surface. Now, with this cool gamut, we have a range of intense blues, dull red violets, and dull blue greens. We start by scrubbing a cool color across the whole surface of this new composition, just to get rid of the white of the board. Now, the reds, again, are a weaker color of red, but the blues are as strong a blue as we can possibly mix, even stronger than the blue in the original composition. The white colors are shifted toward the blue. And the yellow color is actually just a warm gray, but it'll appear yellow in the context of the picture. 